A teacher wanted to see the relationship between the number of hours studying for the exam and the grade on the exam. So he made a what? Scatter plot. And this is what the scatter plot looks like. What is this? Uh, what are all these dots? Well, it says that a student studied zero hours. He didn't study at all. And he made a 10. Hmm. Another student did not study at all. And he made a what? A 90. A student uh, scored scored a 20, okay, went up 20. Uh, he only studied a little bit more than an hour, and he made a 20. Another one studied uh, two hours and made a 40, okay. It's called a scatter plot. Now, is it true that all students who studied less than five hours failed the exam? Okay, so I don't want to look at these with six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours of studying. Let's just block them out. These are the students who studied less than five hours, because no, I don't have any that studied exactly five hours. Okay, so did every student who studied less than five hours flunk the exam? Well, most of them scored less than 60. In fact, remember the one who had a 10? But, hey, look at this guy up here. He didn't study at all, and he made a what? A 95, right? So I can't say everybody failed, okay? Because this guy breaks that, okay? Most of them um, failed, all right? But I got one guy right there, scored a 95. Moving on, the number of points scored on the final was less than 60 for any student who studied less than at least five hours. So he studied at least five hours. So we're not, we're not going to look at any of these over here. Block them out. Look at the ones who studied six hours through ten hours. Okay, Was, did everybody score less than 60? Well, that didn't make any sense. This student scored 100, didn't he? I only have one who scored 60. Okay? So everybody looks like everybody um, passed. Well, they at least got a 60, except for this guy. So you can't say they all got less than 60. So forget this sentence. The number of points scored on the final was more than 60 for any student who studied at least five hours. So cross off that left side. And did everybody score more than 60? Everybody? No, this student studied 10 hours, and he didn't score more than 60. He scored exactly a 60, didn't he? All right, so this has got to be the right answer here because all the others are gone. Most students who studied at least five hours, at least five hours, block out all of these. Most students pass the exam. Well, I got one, you think 70's passing, got one who so scored a 60, and another one scored a 65. But all these passed. This person got a 70, but all of these passed. So you could say most students who studied at least five hours passed the exam.